Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. So today we are going to talk about the ACS 712 current sensor. Uh, commonly you are going to find three different models for uh, 5 amps, 20 amps and 30 amps. This particular model is for 20 amps max. We can measure both uh, DC current and AC current. And it's really simple to set up. We have three pins. Uh, one for ground, uh, one for uh, analog output, and uh, third pin uh, is for uh, 5 volts. For this episode I'm going to use uh, ESP8266 microcontroller, but you can also use uh, ESP32. And uh, we are going to use uh, my uh, desk power supply with a 12 volts rectifier. Because I think it's going to be interesting to compare values. So now I'm just going to connect these three wires. So first one is for the ground. Second one is uh, for analog output. So pin A0. And third is for 5 volts. Now you have to know that uh, this sensor needs to be connected in uh, series with your load. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in this wire first. This wire is from a negative uh, terminal from uh, my rectifier. And second wire is from negative terminal of my desk power supply. Only thing that I can complain about is actually size of these terminals. It could be problematic with thick wires. All right. Now I'm going to plug in my power supply. All right. And now we are going to deal with the code. Now, if you have not already, please uh, create another project and uh, open your uh, platform INI. You need to add one additional line. With uh, lib dependencies, you have to add a link to this GitHub repository. This is definitely, by my opinion, the best library for this purpose. So, I'm going to uh, open uh, main.cpp and I'm going to include this library. So, it's ACS712. And we are going to create object of this library, ACS712. Call it sensor. And we have to uh, provide the four arguments. Uh, first argument is actual pin that we are going to use. So uh, with my ESP8266 microcontroller, I'm going to use pin A0. Uh, second, it's a voltage of your microcontroller. Uh, my microcontroller is uh, supplied by 5 volts. And now maximal reading value for your uh, analog read function. In my case, that is uh, 1023. And now uh, fourth argument, it's actual resolution. And what is that? If you open your uh, platform INI, uh, copy this link. And now open your favorite web browser. Paste this link into address bar. We are going to navigate to GitHub. Uh, scroll down. And in here you are going to see a resolution. So what we have to provide as argument, it's uh, this uh, column. Millivolts per amp. And in my case, because I'm using uh, 20 amps model, I have to provide number 100. So fourth argument in my case is going to be 100 and now just uh, regular stuff serial begin with baud rate that i prefer now pin mode a zero input and this is important sensor auto midpoint and in this way I'm going to avoid to calculate these things myself now I'm going to uh, create float readings and from sensor we are going to use a function uh, mc 
M, uh, sorry, M, A, D, C. So first uh, we are uh, reading uh, DC current. And I'm going to uh, have only one sample and I want to print that out. Print LN readings. And keep in mind, because I'm reading from negative terminal from my rectifier, I'm going to get the negative values. But for the purpose of this episode, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to make delay of one second. Okay, I'm going to build and to upload this piece of code. All right, I'm going to open my serial monitor. All right, we already have some readings. So my desk power supply, it's uh, taking some current. All right, you should be able to uh, see my microcontroller and the sensor. And now we are going to make things more interesting. So I'm going to uh, set uh, voltage to maximum 12 volts in this case and I'm going to select amps and I'm going to allow this out okay I have connected uh, one uh, vacuum cleaner uh, to uh, my power supply and we are going to give some juice to it You can hear some noise. We are also uh, getting readings from our sensor. Give it some more, like three amps. All right. Let's try with four. All right. From my point of view, this experiment is successful. Now I'm going to unplug this power supply for security reason. And now we are going to uh, measure DC current. In order to do that, I'm going to unplug this wire. So we are not going to deal with DC part right now. We are going to deal with AC part. And of course, if you don't know how to deal with electricity, don't <laughs> find someone who knows because this thing can be extremely dangerous. As I said, these terminals are really small. This is the biggest problem with this sensor. And now I'm going to connect phase two power supply in order to measure a current. All right. Uh, now uh, let's deal with the code. Okay, now we're not going to make uh, too many changes. What we are going to do, instead of uh, MA DC, we are going to use function uh, MA uh, AC sampling. But in here we have to provide uh, two arguments instead of one. We have to provide frequency. So if you are in Europe or in uh, most of the world, you are going to uh, set this value to 50 Hertz. And if you are in United States, you're going to set it to 60 or better check with your uh, local power supply company. So I'm just going to save this code. I'm going to build it and upload it. Okay, now I'm going to open my serial monitor in order to see what we have. And we are already getting some readings. That's because my desk power supply is uh, taking some juice. 
Uh, all right, uh, we are going to perform the exact same experiment, but now we are measuring AC current. So I've set uh, 12 volts, almost 12 volts, 11,2, uh, and we don't want 6 amp, uh, 6 amps now, uh, now. I'm going to change that to 1 amp for start, and I'm going to turn it on. All right, my vacuum cleaner is taking some juice and I want to deal with amps. All right, I'm going to raise a uh, value. Okay, our sensor is picking up. Let's go with three amps. Wonderful, four amps, five, And let's give it six. Great. At this point, uh, we were taking uh, one amp uh, from AC side. Uh, so guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new and interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.